What's up guys, this is Sean and today we're going to check out Kaya Heights in Equines Park or some call it Taman Equine, same thing, let's go! After the main road for Equines Park, right in between LDP and Max Highway, you drive through several stations of the MRT, the Putra Permai and the Taman Equines one. And there will be a junction connecting to several commercial areas, and this will be the main road that comes into Kaya Heights. So, on the first glance, this is a hilltop development, right? And you can see how high it is just judging based on the height itself and this will be the main access into this 20 acres of development land something that you guys should know this location has always been a favorite for big houses <laughs> you look at it right all our bungalows here semi-dees here and only recently there has been a lot of high rises around the MRT so the first concern I have before actually going into the sales gallery right will be this empty land here that is actually up for commercial development and sometimes by looking at a drone shot right, you may not feel the height of the development but once you drive and you look into the degree wow so after documenting so many different projects within the city center and we can now really observe the movement of development venturing into the northern side of Klang Valley and the southern side of Klang Valley and we are now at the southern side where we are in between Puchong and Cyber Jaya let me show you where we are so this side will be Puchong and this side will be Cyber Jaya, Putra Jaya area and we are in between those locations this will be the main toll right after Puchong and when you drive in here there will be a junction that connects into Equines Park all together and this location has been really really hot lately because of the upcoming completion of this MRT track and along this main road of Equine Park you will get to see several things number one will be the Basa Borong the second one you will get to see the Aeon Mall and after that there will be a junction going in and you will find Kaya Heights and this location has always been built with a lot of high-end residential areas those bungalows, semi-dees and terrace houses but recently the land adjacent to the stations right those are more mixed development and commercial focus so a few observations after we reach the site this is a very matured township altogether where you have all the commercial lots the school, the malls, and the existing houses, right? Basically, there's an existing community around here. But with this new injection of developer, where we are more familiar within the Mon Kiara city center area, right? Suddenly, when they venture into this piece of land, it was very surprising to me. And the second thing to observe is that this is a hilltop development. With that typology, it comes with certain uh, challenges, I would say. Let me explain. So on the first glance, right, this looks really massive. In total of nine to four units all together, but they are divided into two separate launches. Currently, they are only launching block A and B. But when you understand more about the project, this entire development sits on a 20 acre piece of land, right, on the hilltop. So something that they are really proud of, they are only building up around 35 to 40 percent of the entire land area. It means right, the remainings are all greeneries. Well, there are certain reasons why they do that. We have a slope like that and the boundary line actually cuts across. So it means that these are the public area. This belongs to the development. And the cool thing as well, these are all existing as you can see from the drone shots. So from a distance, this looks like an island surrounded by that sea of trees and when we come into the site you will immediately come through this slope going into this building and currently this is the sales gallery location but it's a permanent structure after the entire project is completed handed over this will be used as the office as well as having multi-purpose halls up for rental the main reason is because it's actually located outside of the security gate lah. and speaking of which this will be the main entrance into all four blocks Right, and all of them will have their own drop-off lobby and all of them can't be their own loading bay as well so one very smart design move they applied is to have this shared facility across four blocks 
on a normal basis. Each block will have their very own facility deck, where you have their own swimming pool and all, right? But when you have four blocks all together, all of them will share this elevated car park structure, and above the elevated structure will be these six acres facility deck. So you will have open areas, pavilions, pools, jacuzzis, wading pool, and for the playground, it looks very cool. Where you look at the basketball ring, right? It comes with different heights, so that encourage more interaction between family members. Then you have the gym and the multi-purpose hall on this side, and because they have space in abundance, they are able to apply these speed ramps, which means these ramps actually cuts across two levels. This reduces the time needed for the residents to go to their respective car park. And naturally, if you look into the boundary of the land, it's pretty impossible to build up a tower here. Therefore, they still utilize this and they. Put up a futsal court and a basketball court and it really looks nice imagine just playing ball here right surrounded by trees that's so cool just that with a layout like this that's one challenge imagine you staying at the edge here and you need to meet up at the gym <laughs> it's so far So per floor plate, that's going to be 10 units, right? And it's split into half. So each wing, there will only be 5 units in total, sharing 4 lifts. And if you look into the orientation, all buildings, including the block C and D, all are north-south facing. So that's nice. And there's no air wells, right? Sometimes people find air wells to be dark. So the team decided to eliminate it instead to focus on making the corridor a little bit shorter. And if we look at this, right, there's this slight tilt that the designer did. For a better illustration, I shift to this instead. So if you look into this, right, there's this tilt at the side as it caters to the larger unit, right? So this looks like a bungalow on air because there's no wall sharing with the other one. And this gentle treatment suddenly increases the width of the entrance to this unit. And from the scale model, you can see this is the lift lobby and there will be openings on both sides. So this will be the source of light before you get into the corridor. So the unit that we're gonna check out today will be type B11241 square feet, three bedroom, one flexi area, plus two bathrooms. Once you come into the foyer, this will be the breakfast bar, somewhat dry kitchen and the dining and livings are laid horizontally and it's going to be very bright because if you look into the openings right so these are all open this is the humongous balcony then you have the kitchen at the side tucked in along with the yard so this is somewhat like that semi open space and they have this plus one it's entirely up to you what you want to do to it but there's one very obvious thing here is this solid block here so this means that this is going to be a column here but it's still in between the boundary between spaces once you go in there will be three bedrooms two of them will be sharing this common bathroom here and this will be the principal bedroom and the principal bathroom first things first all bedrooms will have window i'm just not too sure whether can this fit a double size bed most likely it can but we'll go check it out later This will be the foyer and this is where you can put your shoe cabinets going into the unit. You will go through this corridor again with spaces at the side and this will be the kitchen space. So coming into the unit, the ceiling height will be 10 feet, pretty standard for all of their projects. And the selling price for this property is going to be around 650000 depending on which floor that you're going to buy. But I'm enjoying this layout as you have the dining and the living arranged in this manner. It's so awesome. Plus, you have all the windows on this side. It's gonna be so bright. However, please bear in mind that this is a show you need. The unit that you're gonna get is gonna be bare. Only aircon pipings and the water heaters. Lah. But just in case they update, do always check with the sales staff. Because of this column right here, the show you need suggests that this can be your dry kitchen area or can be your breakfast counter area as it's located next to the kitchen. And it may look different to the drawings because they kind of add in a wall. Lah. So going into the kitchen, and it can nicely accommodate your food and hob, your basin and your fridge. And it comes with their own yacht. And something to highlight above the door, they have this extra panel of window for ventilation. So that's nice. 
and moving into the yard space. So this is rather spacious and what you can see here, this will be the louvers. This may not be that important but I really appreciate the treatment of the tilings here. So they just added this inch of tile colour from this so it looks way neater. <laughs> location kind of blew up recently well I actually divide this progress for location into two one is when the main highway which is max highway was completed the distance from this location to KL immediately got shortened so fast then when the MRT was announced and is currently still under construction there has been a lot of commercial centers that are being built leveraging on that and that's the main difference that I think you guys should know this is a pure residential project but there won't be any commercial activities at all around these 20 acres unlike those that are adjacent to the Putra Permai or the Taman Equine station it makes more sense for them to be in a typology of mixed development where convenience need to be in top priority so it's pretty clear that the target audiences for this particular project will be family and people who are buying a home to reside in. And again, when we look into the site, this is going to be one of the very limited high rises among standard properties. It's great in terms of view. You have the unblocked horizon. Imagine you just stay at level 22 or 25. It's going to look so amazing. Plus, this building is already on a hilltop. Next to the living room, you have the balcony, and this balcony is huge and they have this steel handrail built on curbs speaking of which a lot of people are not aware that noises actually travel upwards and if you're one of the very rare high rises in a huge area the wind velocity will be a problem and if your windows and doors are not done well they will be whistling sounds whenever there's a rainstorm or whatsoever with however it's pretty difficult to actually demonstrate the quality of finishes in terms of the glazing but they somewhat feel really solid as it comes with the rubber finishes at the joints and all I mean, when you lock it feels solid moving on this will be that plus one space and they have their own window and this room is entirely up to you how you want to use it so what they did is they elevated the floor level to provide more storage area and it's currently their workout space especially after the lockdown but most likely to me it's going to be a home office where i will do a glass partition here and have some desks inside to do my videos and stuff right entirely up to you but it's good to know that there's an extra room oh speaking of which there are units with special storage area next to your car park so do check with the team when you are here on which unit comes with that facility not all units but i think it's a very cool concept and moving along the corridor this will be the porcelain tiles and there will be a drop in ceiling because the aircon piping needs to puncture through and the door heights are rather short la, where it's 2.1 meters so there's these sunken details at the wall for you to accommodate a storage area then on the other side you have the common bathroom shared between the guests and the two bedrooms so this is going to be exactly how it looks like where you have the shower screen, full high wall tiles, natural ventilation, WC and basin by Econex and the windows will be frosted. Moving on, this will be the three bedrooms on this side okay so let's check this one out first this comes with laminated timber flooring so they designed this into a kids room and it's rather spacious just that i noticed that the windows around the unit are just like sufficient tight unlike the ones that we visit in the KL city center where it's all full height extended all the way kind of thing so this is pretty obvious that they are controlling the cost in accordance to the market needs around the area so that's nice and there'll be a drop in ceiling height here this king here is to accommodate the storage room outside and moving on this will be the second room and this is where you can accommodate a queen size bed along with a window cabinet there then you have timber flooring timber skirtings and this will be the space for your wardrobe but this detail here i'm not too sure this seems pretty tight because after you put in the door right if the door open this side you can add a bed then it's impossible to sit there anymore but if you open me, yeah i like the intention here of having this space right carved out instead of just attaching the door right to the corner just like that room there so if the door swing opens like that that is pretty direct but this one after you open and you close the door 
this space is still somewhat functional. But I think it's okay, these are all for references only. When you get a unit, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Okay, moving on. Going in, you will have the principal bathroom here and this will be the principal bedroom. It's as wide as the living space because after you accommodate a king size bed here, there are still so much space around the bed even after they accommodate the wardrobe space in front of the bed. Usually it's attached to the wall next to the toilet but this is different. So the distance from wall to wall here is just so luxurious. However, the window size are not full height all the way. It's only built from here to here. But if it's built all the way, right, it's not going to be this price though. <laughs> and next to the bed, this will be the principal bathroom. Full height wall tiles. I like the tile texture. There's a window for ventilation, shower screen, shower, WC and basin by Eco Next. And I think that's all for the layout. And you can really feel the DNA of this developer across their product because they have done this kind of layout so many times. And it's really sufficient as they separate out the open space with the private space. They smartly carved out the storage area, smartly carved out a plus one area. Although there's a beam here, they designed the show you need to somewhat suggest you on how to rectify the issue. Then have a very squarish kitchen at the side, that's nice. But again, as we've discussed, there are some cost cutting measures in order to match the selling price with the market around this area. So I guess that's all for the tour in the sales gallery. Let's go around and check out the site. So now we are in front of the international school called Ellis Smith International School and this just represents the level of income around this area. As you can see, it's almost school time, right? Everyone is going to pick their children soon. Everyone's waiting and you look at the level of the cars. Yeah. So we are now right in front of the intersection that is the main cause of the traffic congestion around this area. So this is the main road that connects Max Highway to LDP and this is the central spine road that connects the entire city. Queen Park. And what you can see as well, that would be the new constructed MRT line. And because of that, there are just a lot of new buildings that's being erected right now, trying to leverage on the convenience of this public transportation. And right next to that, we are now in front of Aeon Mall. And it's really a stone throw away from Kaya itself. Also here you have the Starbucks, the McDonald's, the KFC, and they are just a lot a lot of commercial areas around this location. So convenience wise, it's pretty much settled like where to go to school, where do you want to eat, where you want to go tuition. And I think that's all for this episode. It's now time for Sean take three on three. So point number one, definitely, right? After driving around the site, I really enjoy the maturity of the location because this has been around for very very long and it has always been that location for super high-end mansion people will just buy land and build their own dream home here but after the completion of Max Highway and the new announcement of the MRT track along this route suddenly people start to notice this particular plot of land in between Puchong and Putra Jaya all together. And right after the completion of the project, right, let's say the project is completed three to four years later, everything is sorted out where you go to school, where you have your lunch, where the kids go to tuition, ballet school, shopping malls, parks, and etc. Everything is readily available. But my favorite of all, they are just commercial areas in abundance. And very close to that, the second point will be this project being a fully residential project. If you look around the drone shot, if you look around the site, there are just a lot of buildings in construction and most of them are commercial oriented or mixed development. Those are products that are leveraging on the convenience element and it's mainly for investment purposes. So those you really gotta take into consideration, the rental returns, the time you need in order to get to KL or whatsoever. But if you look into the design of Kaya, from the sales gallery itself, you see a lot of spaces for kids. And if you look into the design strategies, this is meant 
for families and for own stay purposes. And that's a very clear demarcation between their product versus the rest of the market. So when you are shopping around here, you really need to sort out the intention of purchase, whether is it really more of investment or more of own stay. Last of all, I really like the design strategy around the topography. So again, this is a hilltop development where it's already a level higher than the surrounding neighborhoods. Then they are still building towers on top of the highland. So that gives you a block view and the surrounding you can see pretty much is all occupied already by standard developments and at the far end you can still catch the gleams of the natural reserve area so when it's completed right i can only imagine it will look just like the scale model where it's as if it's an island of development surrounded by that sea of landscape in the 20 over acres right there's a lot of facilities that can be made that 1.2 km jogging path or whatsoever that's a result of the abundance of land they are only building 35% of the land, the remaining will all be open spaces and landscapes resulting in your basketball court surrounded by trees la, the 6 acres of facility deck la. The entire development is just going to be jam-packed with lifestyle elements so I really enjoy that. Then the three things I don't like, number one would be the current control of traffic. Because this road has been that local road and the only measures how they control the traffic would be to use traffic lights and that creates a lot of congestion around the main road. The traffic around that road is just insane. But hopefully after all the construction of the MRT stations are completed, things will be way better. Then the second thing I don't like is that first impression of the blocks that seems to be very high density. La. Because if you have no context on the land size and the percentage of land used for that clean area, right, the structures laid together seems massive because they are in that uniform height. Personally, I prefer some towers to be way higher, some towers to be way lower, but that's just personal preference. But the team had their own reason why they want to keep all four blocks in that uniform height. But within four blocks, there are still differentiation in terms of product, but that's going to be block C and D, which is going to be launched later. And last of all, this may be a concern for a lot of people. It's not connected to the LRT directly. Okay, so it's not a TOD. As I mentioned for my own choice of residence as well, I prefer to be in a building that's not directly connected to the RRT station. Because those type of topologies, right, you will have the convenience of course. It's just very easy to walk around with a commercial area. But it also comes with safety issues, it also comes with noise issue, congestion issue and etc. So the fact that Kaya Heights is around 5 to 7 minutes drive away from the station, I actually prefer that. It's actually more serene more quiet. The roads are way more private because only residents would use those local roads instead of staying right next to the main road. La. So I think that's all for this property review. Overall, I think this is a very good choice for own stay because of its accessibility, because of its price range and the value you get for that money. La. So it's a very well executed design in an awesome typology just that you need to be very mindful of the location la. because if you're already considering to be located within this region, it's Itself. This is definitely a choice. And if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.